Hello. Today I hope I can show you another interesting video from a fixing device. On my desk is a clock, a LED clock with the date, time and also a room temp. This is the the other part. As you can see this is where the the clock is is mounted. We've got uh, all the all the information very very nice that looks like uh, aluminium or other type of metal. So yes, pretty quality stuff. The the labels were in German, but actually inside we've got a China manufacturer PCB. And let me first show what's the problem. So I'm going to connect the AC voltage and there is something display. I'm going to kill the light and it looks like a one 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 day first month 2000 year we've got the information there is like no temp reading available and something that looks like a time but it's display completely wrong that's like indicate a seconds and it should clearly blinking and counting but it's not something that will give you an indication that the CPU is not working because it's not like a random this is not like everything is black or everything is lit the CPU is clearly doing something it's driving that correctly so the problem in my opinion let's start start light again would not be over here so let's take a look at the at the board so this is a single blob cpu most likely created just for the task of doing a clock calculation and we've got a crystal oscillator with all all the capacitors and that would be my like a first place to go if i would believe that the, there might be a problem with the cpu is not running sometimes i do a tap of the on the crystal oscillator because there are mechanical parts and they sometimes just stuck and gentle tap make them working again but not in this case so let's see what else might be wrong there might be a problem with the backup battery and I of course change that and let's see, so we've got a part of the transistors that are driving the LEDs and the only part, because this is a, there is no component on the, on the other side, there's nothing interesting, is that part. So we've got a AC voltage coming in, we've got a full bridge rectifier, we've got a smoothing capacitor, and we've got a device that is this focus. Yes, this is a DC to DC converter, and over here we've got a coil. And of course, the capacitors at the input and at the output. So let's take a look what's going out from the 
from the voltage regulator. So I'm going to connect the power again. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see, but the board is lit. So we've got power. The, they are bright. So it doesn't look like there is a problem with not enough voltage. But let's measure. And I'm going to measure the output. Let me put in the camera, okay. So the positive and the negative. And we've got a 5.2 volts, which seems okay, in my opinion. That might be a 5 volt CPU, that might be a 3.3 volt or a 5 volt. So, 5 volt sounds good. But what might be a, another problem that making the CPU working in the in the wrong way so let's try connect oscilloscope at our power rail and try to see the waveform on the output okay so we are taking a look at the oscilloscope and sadly i left my probes so i'm using that b and c and i'm going to touch it and let me show here is our ground and let me let me move a little bit to some kind of so this is our zero volt and let me connect it and we've got something We've got our 5 voltage and some kind of noise. I'm going to, to zoom it. You can see there is something that is not nice. Here you can see this is our 5 volt and some kind of noise. And let's take another look out at the board. And I cannot see any component that is capable of creating that voltage spike except the, the coil over here. There is just no other component that could create that spark if we know that the, the input is uh, straight from the power supply, the transformer, and I know that the waveform is clean, then over here something happening that is injecting that noise. And what I think there is, we've got a problem with this capacitor that go bad. So let's try, first of all, I'm going to short it just to make sure that I'm not going to damage my meter and we can try that ESR meter. I do not recommend checking by touching the, the leads. But let's see, and it's showing a uh, over limit. It does not reading anything, and this is 470 microfarad at 16 volt. So this is our ESR. Try to focus. So 16 volt, 470, 0 0.18 ohms. And we are reading over meter, over limit. Then that means that that capacitor is broken. 
and I'm going to solder another capacitor and I'm going to touch the other lead and we are going to see on the oscilloscope what kind of change do we get. So let me find a replacement. Okay, so I soldered the one leg of the replacement and what I can do, I can, I can touch it and we can observe on the oscilloscope what kind of wave pattern change do we get. So let's go back to the oscilloscope. Okay, so we are again on the oscilloscope and we've got our noise spike pattern and I'm going to touch the capacitor, the other leg, and as you can see, it's completely gone. We've got our spikes and we've got a filtered output without any, any noise. Okay, so as you can see, it's working and the only thing I did was to replace the, the capacitor and after doing replacement I pulled the battery to reset the, the CPU because there is uh, inside the real-time clock and it was most likely in some kind of fault state from the voltage spike but as you can see now it's working and if I press the button I can select what kind of value they want to change and set I cannot see the control so I don't know what I'm what I'm pressing but yes that's that's how it looks like oh, as you can see I'm changing the year and all of that so let's again take a take a look so the only thing that was causing a problem was that capacitor and let's see let's see did I throw it okay so here's the felt capacitor and we can once again out of circuit try to measure the ESR and it's over limit so the ESR is too high I'm going to use a standard meter that is able to measure the capacity and let's see do this device have no capacity or the high resistance but it looks like it's it's that as you can see it reading some kind of funny capacitance 270 picofarad and yeah, so that's how it looks like. So by, by the date 2006, I'm going to replace all the electrolyted capacitors because they are very cheap. So I'm going to replace that one and also the capacitor near the CPU. And I'm pretty sure that we've got another couple of years of working that very nice clock. And let's see one once again, or I just they throw that. And of course the the capacitor is not bulge for your eye. That would just look completely fine. And if you just have multimeter, as you can rewind, the the voltage was 5.2 volt. So without oscilloscope you won't be able to to see that we've got some kind of waveform on top of our 5.2 volts. So 
thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye